Hey, good day, everyone. Just want to get some clarity or some understanding of this virus thing now that has been affecting us, the COVID-19. And we realize that all the major networks and all these top doctors are telling us that we need vaccines in order to, that's the only answer to get rid of this COVID-19. But also, on the other hand, we have also learned that the COVID is an RNA-structured virus, not a DNA-structured virus. So a lot of people are going to ask, what's the difference between the DNA and the RNA? Now, DNA is the basic, the fundamental building block of the body in the cells. RNA acts as sort of messengers. So we have messenger RNA, we have transfer RNA, and so on. These are these are so structurally the 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 molecular structure of a DNA is double stranded. So it's a stable compound, so it's a stable substance. RNA is single stranded. So what it, what that means, the difference is structurally is that it's unstable. So it's subject to change and mutation all the time. Now Anything that, any form of virus that is RNA, usually they are not naturally occurring viruses. And if they are RNA structurally, it means that they mutate, they change. So you cannot have an effective vaccine for an RNA type virus. For example, HIV. HIV has been around from maybe the late 70s early 80s they have been trying to get the vaccine for hiv you can't because you cannot have a vaccine for a mutating type of virus that keeps changing in structural dimensions same thing with covid and the reason for that is because if you notice different symptoms for covid people have diarrhea people have headache people have chest problems throat problems this is because it's different this is not a naturally occurring virus naturally occurring viruses your body fights off naturally this virus first of all it is occurring all over the world at the same time naturally occurring viruses have outbreaks in different regions based on the our environmental condition you might have a swampy area, you might have a pollution going on in a particular area. So viruses usually, when in their natural occurring state, happen in particular regions at the same at, at a time. Eventually they might spread to different areas of the world. This particular virus now is occurring all over the world simultaneously. That doesn't happen not because different areas of the world have different climatic conditions. Some places are cold, some places are very hot. And one virus cannot function. Normally occurring viruses don't, don't, don't function like that. They, they happen to breed up or be effective in a particular climate and they are not so effective in other type of climate. That's how naturally occurring viruses operate. This virus operates right across the world. And what is interesting, it spreads around the world at the same time. Now, there is something very, very wrong with that. It shows that it is not a naturally occurring. This is a virus that has been tampered with. It must be. It's something we have strains of, of corona or the novel, the novel virus. But this one now, the COVID, as they call it, is affecting the whole world simultaneously. They tell us initially that it spreads by droplets. So as long as you don't put your hand to your mouth or someone don't sneeze on you, cough in your face or spit on you, then once you have the necessary protection, then you should not have um, been infected by this virus. People have been washing hands and wearing stuff from February and people are still having this virus. Something is wrong. We have a 
in other countries have found, have found out that hydrochloroquine, for example, is very effective in, in, in treating this virus. It has been around for 60, 70 years. Now in the United States, the people who are, who are pushing for vaccine are telling us, oh, it is anecdotal. The effects that they're being reported across the world is no good. We have to run tests on it. Why would you have to run further tests on a medication that has been around for 70 years? Haven't it been tested enough? But it works. But how can we use it here when it goes against what they want to push, which is a vaccine? Vaccines normally take at least, at least three to five years to develop. Generally, it takes five to seven years for a vaccine to effectively be developed, developed, tested, proven, and safe. There's no way a vaccine can be developed in a year for a particular thing, unless you have it, have been doing and, re and testing it before. So now you're letting time go by and then come under the guise that, you know, you have accelerated the process. You understand? So we have to be aware of what is happening around us. And we got to think about these things. It's important that we think for ourselves and realize that something is not right when it comes to this virus. There's no way a virus should affect the whole world simultaneously. It means something is wrong. Something got away from somebody or some people. And the best way to protect yourself is to build your immune system. Once you have a strong and effective immune system, then you, 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 you are 90% in the good, in the clear. But you have to maintain your, your immune system. And it doesn't make sense. It sounds like I'm being critical. But also, I must say, to build your immune system, the f there are certain steps that you should do. take. Stay away from refined sugars. Stay away from dairy products. Stay away from alcohol. Once you do that, eat fruits and vegetables, especially take your intake of vitamin C, vitamin D, vitamin A. Once you and have regular exercise and sleep well at night, go to your bed early, get good night rest. That is what the body needs to develop its own system and remain healthy inside. Right? You don't need synthetic medications with chemicals. Naturally occurring substances, your fruits, your vegetables, your vitamins, your supplements. Once you maintain a healthy lifestyle, then your body is, will take care of the rest. That's it. You don't need a vaccine when you have, whenever you have a healthy immune system. You don't need a vaccine. Point blank. Vaccine is only needed for people who have compromised immune systems. So they need help. Every year they give you flu shots. What is the sense in giving you flu shots and people are still dying from flu? A vaccine is supposed to create immunity in your body. So if it's creating immunity, why is it you get a flu shot every year? One shot should take care of you because you have developed immunity. But what? They don't tell us the truth. The truth is there are 19, 18 to 19 different strains of viruses that cause the flu. Every year they, they, they predict, they put it on a computer, they try to predict what strain is going to come out this year. That's all they do. So they might give you a flu shot, have seven to eight, um, to protect against seven to eight different strains. So you have ten. That, so the, the, the one, one out of the ten might come that the, the, the flu shot doesn't have. And that is the reason why people still get sick of the flu. But the main reason why you get sick during the winter time is not necessarily because of the flu, the virus from the flu, because that is around all year round. The main reason or the main reasons are number one, there's less sunlight. Time is cold, people stay inside more, so they're not exposed to sunlight to get vitamin D. Three, in winter areas we find that all the trees shed its leaf. So obviously there are more carbon dioxide. 
prevalent around and you need your body needs oxygen and people don't normally deep breathe we have shallow breathing so your body becomes compromised and of course especially in the united states and other developed countries people eat a lot of refined sugars coffee tea all these acidic substances donuts pizza all these things they are refined products they are refined sugars your body don't need that your body needs healthy food people don't exercise a lot during the winter because it's cold naturally but you can exercise inside so a combination of these things compromise your immune system that is why you're more prone to be affected with flu during the, during the the uh the winter time so they call it the flu season the flu the, the flu is around all year round in spring and summer people are more active there are more sunlight trees are out more oxygen is available that is the reason why you you don't tend to get the flu at that time it's not necessarily because of the virus it's just you have to be cognizant of the fact that during the winter season you need to be active where even you come inside do some exercise in the house take your vitamin d supplement your vitamin c and so on stay away from fried food alcohol refined sugars all these big products muffins donuts you know bagels you don't need those those are not food once you do that you will see the difference you don't need a vi- you don't need a vaccine when your immune system is healthy your your body will naturally take care of itself once you take care of your body is as simple as that